Diane and Denmark here. <laughs> hurry, hurry, hurry. It is day 16 of the Fly Ladies 31 Baby Steps. I hope you're fine and well this morning. Uh, just before what, what we start, I just want to say, uh, you know, I, I've had a lot of things going on here uh, the, the last uh, few weeks. We, we've bought an apartment uh, for my son who's, gonna, who's uh, studying at uh, Copenhagen University. We got the keys yesterday. And you know things have been kind of hectic, and uh, but because I've got my routines going, you know I've got my fly lady routines. They have seen me through thick and thin. Uh, when we, uh, you know, when when uh, we've had a family illness, uh, when we've had bereavement, they, they've carried me through. So I really want to say to you, please keep going with these uh, routines. You know that they're not just for the high days and holidays. They're they're really going to pull you through when things are tough, when things are hectic, and that's what it's all about. Just just putting you into that place where you know that you've got a safety net. The routines are going to be your safety net. Anyway, let, let's get on with day sixteen. Um, in in the uh, fly lady baby steps, Marla, uh, the fly lady, she uh, asked you to go and get some inspiration, look at some testimonials on the fly lady website. Uh, and just a wee word here, if you're going to go looking on the internet, you know what I'll say, uh, set your timer before you go onto the internet because otherwise you're going to get sucked in there. You think you're going for inspiration and then, you know, three hours later you're still sitting there on your bahookie, on your bottom. So so careful with that. Um, I, I, this is my um, Sync Reflections book and I found Fly Lady, the date is in here. 13th of August 2006 um, and, and that was actually I, I actually went looking for a fly lady when my son was starting school so look at that I went looking for a fly lady when my son was starting school and now he, he's moving out into his own apartment so so there you go um, and this is my wee fly lady doll uh, and listen you, you cannot buy these that they're, they're, they're not available any longer uh, this is a, a wee present that I got from uh, Marla when I was working as a fly lady mentor uh, several years back just get, get yourself some inspiration uh, and I, a great way to get some inspiration of what we've been doing especially the last few days uh, if you look on Instagram here hashtag Diana Denmark there were so many great pictures yesterday of the step of you know making your bed and it's really nice to see what other people are doing it will give you some inspiration uh, I used to have this wee fly lady dolly uh, beside my sink um, you may have a flower beside your sink some of you added a candle you know it's just something to make your routines pleasant so, so it's, it's something that you enjoy doing um, and, it, and the, the day that I'm filming this it's Wednesday which is anti-procrastination day in fly lady land have you actually followed through on all these steps that we've talk, been talking about? Because I, I know some of you at the beginning, you were like, oh, can't we get onto the next step and what's next action? And then, uh, you, you know what happens? Suddenly, we're actually going quite fast with the baby steps. And you say, oh, well, you know, I'll do that tomorrow, do that tomorrow. And it kind of gets put off. Did you actually, you know, uh, take an old jotter? Did you write down, have you started writing down your routines so that you can add to them as we move forward? Did you add in uh, some inspirational quotes? Uh, if, if you haven't done it, maybe today is the day to do that. You know, do, just get, get yourself um, on track, get a wee bit of inspiration going. Um, and I'm going to get going with my day. My lol, my load of laundry is washed, hang out to dry. I'm on my bike and get heading down to the sea for my morning um, sea swim and my breakfast with my besties. Um, I think that's it. Oh, and another news: I have finished my uh, weekly home blessing hour. Go me! Got everything uh, checked off. Uh, perhaps you've got a few things that you didn't get checked off yet. Maybe maybe today is the the day to do that. Spend five or ten minutes on, on one of the tasks and get going out there. So I'm going to get going and say, long and prosper. May the day should be with you and I'll send you off with a wee ra da ra. Woohoo! And uh, I'll see you tomorrow for day 17. Okay, ra ra ra. Diana Demark here, ra ra ra. Baby step number 17. I hope you're finding well this morning. Uh, guess where we are? We are back in the bedroom. Uh, and today's baby step is about getting to bed at a decent hour. Now, before we get started here, all the information about Fly Lady baby steps is on the Fly Lady website, flylady.net. The, uh, the purpose of, of my baby step videos 
is to help you, give you some tips and tricks, some encouragement, and to give you some pointers on where you may be sabotaging yourself and, you know, some little tips to actually make these uh, baby steps work, you know, the, you know why, why we're doing it and, and how we can implement them. So anyway, uh, baby step number 17, we are getting to bed at a decent hour. The, the fly lady, Marla, she, she wants you to get some decent sleep. And I know for many of us, hands up, I, I was the same. I was one of those uh, mombies, as you call them. It was a mum zombie. I would stay up <laughs> late at night because, you know, when I, you know, when you finally get the kids into bed and you're like, okay, now I just want to have some, some alone time and me time. But you know what happens? You just kind of sit there in the chair or on the sofa. You're scrolling through your phone. You're kind of half watching something on the television. And then you're kind of falling asleep there and you're not actually getting any decent rest. And we, we've got to stop that. We, we've, got to, we've got to change up our mindset and say, how can we get some decent rest? So you know what we've been doing with the baby sets? We've been working slowly on our routines, morning routine, evening routine. We've been doing a wee bit of decluttering. We've been decluttering the spaces. We've hopefully been adding a wee bit of hygge, you know, Danish hygge to, to make things cosy for yourselves. And we, we had uh, the, the fly lady habit that we added of making the bed. Um, and I told you then, you know, if you've got like 300 uh, throw pillows and whatever, think about, you know, uh, is, that, is that actually making it uh, nice for you or is it making life more complicated for you? Is it taking you ages to make the bed because you've got all these uh, bits and bobs everywhere? So, so have a think about that. How can we actually make this step uh, more enjoyable for yourself and make us want to get to bed at a decent hour um, and it's a really helpful thing if you say you know even write it down say that you know um, on, on school days you, you know um, Monday to Thursday or you know Sunday to Thursday that you get to bed you're going to be heading to bed say at 9 30 10 o'clock 10 30 because it's just that little kind of nudge to you and say come on Diane you said you were you're going to head to bed and there you are you're still just kind of hanging in front of the television it's that little nudge to you at the weekend you know when when there's no need to get up early uh, perhaps the next day you can stretch out a little longer but just having that that idea of the time in your head uh, that 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 really kind of pushes uh, you know nudges us gently towards our goal and please you know, try, try and make this thing as, as nice as possible for you. Uh, I'll tell you what I do, you know, because I love going to, I love heading to bed. You know, I love the bedroom. It's very nice and peaceful. Uh, we've, I've always got some candles going. Uh, you, you'll see this one coming out soon in, in my photos. Uh, this is one, it's got my name on it, Diane. And this was a present from a niece in Scotland. So, you know, maybe you've got an LED candle. Uh, I've got a, a picture that um, my, my granny won in a painting competition, you know, uh, goodness knows how many years ago. There's always hung above my bed. Uh, one of the things that I like to do before I uh, switch off the light is quite often when, when I'm up here, you know, finishing off uh, my evening, I'll put a, a few wee drops of lavender in a diffuser. Uh, the other thing that I love to do is reading. This is my little book bag. Oh, and I must show you what I got from Ikea the other day. Is it in the bottom of this one? Uh, it's gone. It's gone. Um, let me just get it out here. I have some books from the library. And I'm really looking forward to, uh, to starting this one. I'm the first person in the library to get this. I ordered it. Uh, I love to read before I go to bed. And it's just that, you know, it's just, for me... Going to bed is, is in my head, it, it's a hoogly thing. It's a cosy thing. So let's kind of change up what you're doing this week. Um, if, if, you're, if you're that type that you're just kind of hanging in the evenings on the sofa, think about it. Why aren't you getting to bed earlier? Is it because the area is cluttered? Do you need to go through your bedside cabinet? We've got these roll-away ones. Just open, because a, a lot of you have asked about that. Uh, but this is where I keep, oh, if I go that way, um, this is where I keep uh, my lotions and potions, you know, for putting some cream on my feet. 
um, and my hands before I go to bed. I've got some uh, books in there that I always like to, to read. Uh, I've got uh, nail varnish uh, stuff, stuff for doing my nails, and I've got a charger because I charge my telephone overnight. So let, let's keep that area nice and decluttered. And as I said, maybe you can uh, put some something nice there, uh, a little bloom, you know, a wee plastic plant, whatever it is. Just, just make it so it's nice and cosy for us. And that will hopefully make sure that we are heading to bed at a decent hour and getting some good sleep. So hold on a wee minute, let me just grab my pom-poms. Right, pom-poms are ready. Let me know what time you are, are picking to, to say, right, I'm going to be heading to bed at that time. Uh, what are you going to be doing to make it more hoogly for yourself? Or what, uh, what are some ways that would just kind of encourage you to start getting uh, to bed a bit earlier than you're doing at the moment? Uh, and on that note, all I'm going to say is live long and prosper. May the Danish should be with you. Uh, and here's a wee pom-pom so to send you on your way. Okay, are you ready? Ra, ra, ra. Okay, bye for now. Diane and Denmark here, ra, ra, ra. We are back with day 18 of the Flying Ladies 31 Baby Steps. We are heading into the weekend if you're watching these videos uh, when I make them in September 2020. Uh, remember, hang on to those routines at the weekend. The routines are what are going to free up so you can really enjoy your day. It's not extra work, it's actually making less work for us because we've got a plan for things. So uh, we'll watch out with those routines. Let, let's uh, keep going with the routines at the weekend. We are adding something new today to our uh, Fly Lady control journal. Now you, you can either add it to your control journal, you can take a screenshot, you can do what you like with it. It's not actually an, an action step in these uh, 31 baby steps. I, I know a lot of you are always like, what, what's the next thing that we need to do? Some of these baby steps that are 31 days, it's just actually you know, taking stock of the situation, make sure we, we've completed um, the, the small baby steps, uh, time for reflection, and today is kind of one of those. Um, Marla, um, the fly lady, she wants us to look at the fly lady's 11 commandments. Now you can find these on the fly lady website. Uh, but this is my Sync Reflections book from uh, 13th of August 2006, which is when I went looking for the fly lady when my uh, when my when my first kid was starting school and I was really overwhelmed and panicked. Um, and and I'll I'll read them out to you. And and I have mine uh, in my control journal. That have did you start making your control journal when 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 we started that a few days ago? Have you printed out uh, some inspirational uh, words for yourself? Uh, I, I said it. You, you can use. A file folder, you can use your telephone. The only thing I find with the telephone is that I don't have a backup for those days that, you know, I'm just really having a really bad day and I just want to know where to begin. I've got, I've got my routines written down in here. And also sometimes when I start going on the telephone, maybe you're the same, you get sucked in and, and then suddenly you're off on some other tangent instead of what you were supposed to be doing, which is doing your routines. Um, I have it in here along with, um, you know, we, we've, we've started hopefully uh, our control journal, you're ticking things off. And I've got other stuff in here. For those of you who are further down the line with Fly Lady, uh, perhaps you've been working on the bathroom this week. I did a couple of 15 minute sessions, check those off. But don't worry about that today. I'll show you my, let me just show you here, because my 11 commandments, I printed them out uh, along with some other Fly Lady stuff. And I just find it really helpful, um, you know, on those days where you're having, you know, just can't get started. Quite often, if I'm having a bad day, I will restart my day. You know, I just look at something inspirational and think, okay, Diane, where we're going to start afresh, start from here, even at two o'clock in the afternoon, even at seven o'clock in the evening, I, I can still kind of save my day and, and finish on a high. So I'll, I'll, I'll read them to you. Shall I read them from the books that I've got here, stuck here? Right. Uh, and as I said, you, you could also um, you don't need to print them out if you don't if you don't want to print them out. Just take a, a screenshot from from the Fly Lady website. Anyway, here you go with the eleven commandments, and uh, a lot of these things will probably mm, give you f food for thought. Okay, first one is keep your sink um, clean and shiny. We're doing that. Remember, it doesn't matter what time of day you do it. Just pick a time of day that suits you. Get dressed every morning, even if you don't feel like it, and don't forget your lace-up shoes. 
that that has been really powerful for me for, because even if I'm, I'm really not feeling it once I'm actually dressed I feel like okay I'm, I'm ready for what the day is going to sometimes throw at me number three do your morning routine every morning right when you get up do your bed routine every night um do you need to explain that and remember don't, don't worry about the timings of your routines just get things ticked off number four don't allow yourself to get sidetracked by a computer been there done that and now i always uh, use my timer before i go looking on the computer or just start scrolling on the phone number five pick up after yourself if you get it out put it away when you're finished we've talked about that with the uh, doing the two minute hot spot a poopa pick up and put away. If you take a pair of scissors out of the kitchen drawer, once you've used them, they go back in there. They're not left on the kitchen counter because you know what happens then suddenly everybody's dumping stuff. Number six, don't try to do two projects at once, one job at a time. Yet for too long we've had this kind of, oh, you know, we can multitask. And you know, what? our concentration, at least I'm 53 and I've been through menopause and my concentration span is like, so, so I, I need to focus on one task, but I get things done and I, I'm actually through things faster. So you might want to try that if, you, if you've been, been that tight, kind of juggling, juggling all the balls. Number seven, don't pull out more than you can put back in one hour. That's really, really true for the decluttering thing. I, 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 you know, per, per, perhaps you're doing the KonMari method, perhaps that works for you. I find it overwhelming. I really like the fly lady method of only pulling out, what I normally do is, you know, like one drawer, one shelf, something that I can cope with because in the very beginning, I would think, oh, I'm going to declutter the whole kitchen. <laughs> and then, you know, I'd have everything out and then it would be like, oh my goodness, I haven't, you know, I haven't uh, thought of what's for dinner and, uh, you know, I had to go and pick up the kids from school and and, and you know you're kind of sitting on the kitchen floor crying thinking what what would i get myself into so, so use that timer before you start decluttering and, and and i would say go for two 15 minutes sessions and then take a break for 15 minutes and you know let, let's keep things moving all there um number eight do something for yourself every day maybe morning every morning and every night i was talking about that um you know when we're talking about when when do you get to bed what's your bedtime when I go to bed, you know, I put some cream on my hands and my feet, I, just a wee pamper. In the morning, uh, I take my coffee and I, I sit outside, uh, often with a sweatshirt on and a scarf, but just, you know, a, a few minutes outside. Do something for yourself every, every day, please. You know, and it doesn't need to cost a lot of money, take a lot of time. I've got plenty of pamper ideas on my blog, uh, downdenmark.com. I am the queen of Huga. Uh, okay, number nine, work as fast as you can to get a job done. This will give you more time to play later. That's the whole idea of having the routines. When, when you knock off your routines, you've got the rest of the day, you know, uh, for, for work, uh, for play, for whatever you want. Okay, so that, that's the whole purpose of the routines. Um, number 10, okay, smile even when you don't feel like it. It is contagious, I know that. Make up your mind to be happy and you will be. I, I, I've always been of that mindset that, you know, uh, there's this kind of fake it till you make it. Just a kind of smile. And you know what? If you smile, the world will smile back to you. I know that from personal experience. Okay, last one. Don't forget to laugh every day. Pamper yourself. You deserve it. That, that's number 11. And you know me, I, I like to, like, and when I'm doing my load of laundry, I call it a lol, you know, laughing out loud a lull uh, and, and just if we can just make light of things if we, if we can just you know put something uh, nice beside the sink or, or get a candle going or we bloom just uh, uh, maybe watch your favorite comedian your favorite uh, funny film I, I think you all know by now I, I love the film hot fuzz and i just need to watch you know if i'm having a really bad day i watch like the first five minutes of that film i've had a wee laugh and everything is much better so anyway uh, we are heading into the weekend keep going with uh, those routines let me know if um, have, have you read sync reflections it's a, it's a really good uh, book and marla's got lots of ideas for everything to do with the fly lady system uh, what about the uh, the 11 commandments is there anything that kind of struck a chord with you right now and you think hmm yeah maybe uh, I, I could do better with that 
as I said, you don't need to print it out. You can take a screenshot, keep it on your, your phone for, for when you're needing a wee bit of inspiration. And on that note, I'm going to get uh, flying off myself. So uh, live long and prosper. May the Danish who to be with you, very autumn uh, here this morning. And uh, I shall see you tomorrow for the next day to sit. Okay, are you ready? Ra, ra, ra. Diana and Emma here, ra, ra, ra. we are on today. <gasps> boom, 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 drum roll please. Day 19 of the Fly Ladies 31 Baby Steps. Uh, Saturday, if, if you're watching these baby steps in September 2020, uh, some of you did these baby steps with me a long time ago on YouTube in 2017. Uh, perhaps you've kind of jumped into the Fly Lady system and it wasn't working for you. Perhaps you've never done these baby steps before. This is your chance. If you missed the beginning, uh, just start at day one. What we're doing here is we're building slowly, but consistently, we're building some, some routines for ourselves. And, and these are routines which are gonna support you uh, during the day, they're your safety net, and they're gonna make a lot of less work for you. And who doesn't want less work? Anyway, uh, and, and if you are, you know, here on Instagram or watching maybe the recap on uh, YouTube, Set your timer before before you get sucked into the internet because you know what happens. Anyway, we are on to day 19. I hope you have done your morning routine when you're watching this. I hope you're dressed to shoes. Perhaps you've looked out your outfit for tomorrow. Have you got your lol, your load of laundry on? We're, we're, we're just working slowly with these baby steps. Uh, and today, it's not going to be too taxing. Uh, Marla, uh, the fly lady, on, on day 19, She's talking about a testimonial. Now, it's in the front of uh, the very first page of the Sync Reflections book. You can also see it on the Fly Lady website, and I'm, I'm going to read it aloud to you. And perhaps you have the same kind of testimonial. I, I remember when I first read this, and it really struck a chord with me. I, I started Fly Lady, I, I went looking for Fly Lady, 13th of August 2006, when, when my... Um, oldest son he was just starting school and I was in a real panic about you know <laughs> I was going to get him to school on time and you know I, I used to, I, I've had um, a career working uh, in, in Edinburgh working at the Court of Justice in Luxembourg for the British judge and you know I, I had it all going on, on at work and on the job but the very thing of having a home <laughs> and kids I, I just didn't know you know where do you start and does it ever finish? Anyway, I'm, I'm going to read the testimonial to you and uh, perhaps you've got your own testimonial. Let, let's wait and see. Anyway, it says, here we are here if you want to take a wee screenshot. So a dear fly lady, wanted to let you know about the wonderful bed and breakfast my husband stayed at this Memorial Day weekend. The small but simply furnished kitchen was well stocked with delicious healthy snacks and meals. Oh, I'm already getting hungry reading that. Homemade waffles, oh, it gets worse. <laughs> Homemade waffles and blackberries, blackberries were served from a beautiful, clean kitchen. The living areas and bedrooms were furnished with fresh, plumped pillows, lovely matching sheets and down comforter, and scented candles everywhere. The bathroom, ah, bubble bath, lotions, and fresh white towels. The library was stocked with books, magazines, and yoga videos. Best of all, my husband and I spent time together with no interruptions, chores or traffic. Okay, you guessed it. Thanks to you, this is my home. Thank you, thank you, Laura from California. And I remember reading that and thinking, oh, <laughs> I wish that was my home. And, you know, before I found uh, Fly Lady, you know, back in uh, the early 2000s, there were all these programs on TV and you know, uh, people would be living with a lot of clutter and it was dirty and messy. And they would send a team in and, you know, within two days, everything was zhuzhed up. And, and I thought, oh, if, if only I could get somebody to come in and do that to my house. Except, of course, I would be too embarrassed to, to, to let people know what was going on. And I can say to you, having, you know, been consistent with the small baby steps, and, and you know, I, I you know, I, I had a few goes at Fly Lady before it really kind of stuck. These days, I, I feel like, you know, my, my home is like that, and my home is not perfect. I mean, I mean, you know, you've you've seen my house when I'm doing the cleaning videos. That, 
you know, I've got bits of dust uh, places and, you know, I, I've got expired food in the fridge and whatever. But generally speaking, I am very content with my house. I've got a plan for what's going on. Some weeks I do a lot of zone cleaning, other weeks I, I miss it completely. But because I'm being consistent just with those basic routines, my my house and my whole outlook has really changed. So anyway, I hope that gave you a wee bit of inspiration today. Uh, let me know, you know, what has changed for you? Uh, maybe you're just finding fly lady and maybe it's just giving you that kind of spark of hope that, you know, that there is light at the end of the tunnel. I mean, believe me, if I can do it, you can do it. You know, I, I, as I said, I was really, really organized uh, in the office, the corporate world, but running a house, it, it was just beyond me. But now that, you know, Fly Lady has a plan for it, you've got a plan for things, it makes life so much easier. So anyway, uh, on with uh, Saturday. I hope you have a fantastic day. Let me grab my pom-poms. Uh, and listen, you can post a picture, hashtag Diane Denmark. It doesn't need to be necessarily from today's step. Uh, just show us that your bed is made or your sink is shined or what you've put beside your sink or in your bedroom just to make things a wee bit more cosy for you. So anyway, live long and prosper. May the Danish hygge be with you. Let's keep that hygge going because now we're really getting into autumn. Uh, and a wee ra 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 to send you on your way. Are you ready? Ra, ra, ra. Okay, bye for now. Diane and Denmark here, ra ra ra, hurry, 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 day 20, woohoo, uh, of the Fly Ladies 31 baby steps. 20th September 2020, uh, Sunday, if you're watching these on the in, in the month that I'm making them. Uh, we're going to be talking about something today, not very sexy, but something we need to deal with, which is laundry. Now I've got my, my funny wee uh, clothes pegs here, the, 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 the wee clothes pegs that I use when I hang my laundry outside to dry. Uh, laundry, I'm, I'm not going to sit here and tell you how to do your laundry or how many loads you should be doing a day. The main thing is that you need to have a routine for your laundry. And as with everything else, you, you'll find as you kind of uh, grow up, grow older, that your routines will change, especially laundry. Perhaps you are at university and you do your uh, laundry once a week at the laundrette. Perhaps you are an empty nester and you've been used to doing, I don't know, three loads a day and suddenly it's just you uh, and, and your other half and you're, you're maybe struggling to do uh, one load every third day. Our laundry routines will change. The main thing is that you need to see where you can cut down on the amount of laundry. Uh, if you're looking for tips on, you know, uh, or want to know how I do my laundry, you know, I, I don't wear... Um, things and then wash them. You know, I, I, I wear, uh, especially things like sweaters and jeans, I, I wear them several times before I wash them. Also better than for the environment, you've got to save electricity and all that stuff. Uh, I, I, you know, um, I hang mine, uh, if I can, I, I air them and then I, I wear them again. If, if you want tips and tricks on laundry, how to cut down the amount of laundry, uh, what kind of uh, washes to do, how to sort it, I've got a whole playlist on YouTube which is called LOL, Load of Laundry. Um, you can go and look at that. But what I want you to do is to think about your laundry. Do, do you have a routine going, going for your laundry? Or is it just one of those things when, you know, the, the washing basket is like, you know, towering over you and, or, or, or you know, you, the, the kids can't find their sports, uh, their, their sports gear. We, we, we've really got to make a routine for laundry, just like we have our morning routine and our, our evening routine. And please go ahead with your laundry. And it doesn't need to be like one load every day. It might, you might need to do uh, laundry three loads every day, or you might need to do one load over the course of the week. But write it in in your morning routine and your evening routine. As I said to you at the beginning of the series, you don't need to go exactly by what the Fly Lady has on the website. You know, the Fly Lady's got uh, ideas of when you can do uh, your two minutes um, uh, hot spot or your 15 minutes uh, declutter. But I, I find it's, it's, it's really good. That, that's why I, I usually, uh, well, when I'm mentoring people, I, I say to them, you know, put it in your morning routine, put it in your evening routine. And you'll see as we move forward that it may make better sense for you to do, for example, laundry in the evening and shine your sink in the morning. 
it's it's allowed you know you don't need to ask for permission and say oh you know but it's all right for doing it yes these routines are there to help you okay that they're going to be your safety net and they're going to cut down on the amount of work that we have because we're putting things into a good order and we're able to get them checked off and they're not like a last minute thought so anyway i'm going to get back to uh, the family uh, I, I don't know if i've mentioned in this series that there's a lot of new viewers here you won't see my family uh, on camera i like to give them their privacy um, so it, you, you'll only see me uh, in, in the videos, but yes, the, the family do have their chores. And uh, as I think I mentioned the other day, my son has now got his very first flat and he will be doing his routines at his flat. So there you go. Uh, I'm going to get back to the family. So have a fantastic Sunday. All I've got left to say is live long and prosper. May the Danish Hugo be with you. Think about that laundry and maybe think about ways you can make it more interesting for yourselves. Maybe some funny uh, clothes pegs and I'll give you a wee rah 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 with my pom poms to send you in another way. And that was it for day 20. So are you ready? Rah rah rah. Okay, bye for now.